guys, today I'm going to do it. Is it worth it? So I'm going to open 12 of these packs because of the high memory my camera takes. So we're going to open 12 of these packs. I got this box from Dave and Adams for $65. It was, I think like $68, but then I had a $20 off coupon. In the future, if you want to know where I'm buying this stuff, I will actually talk about it on Instagram. The reason that I can't add it on this video is it's this video, I bought this box a while ago. I forget what sale it was, but it was like a month ago. And the box was 70 or 72, and then the $20 off the 250, that's pretty good, right? So I got four boxes, and it came out to be about free shipping, no tax, free stuff. It was $66 a box, so if I open 12 of these, it, I'm trying to hit, math is eluding me, $22 of value. So if I open 12 packs, can I hit $22 of value? And if you want to know where these prices are and when I'm buying, so you can buy two. I don't always buy from Dave and Adams. I buy from a lot of different places. And normally these places have a ton of these products, just like tons of them. I have in the past attempted to buy them out of certain products, but it has literally never worked because these places have just so many of them. So I'm hoping for $22 of value. Let's call it retail. Let's help this out a little bit. $22 of retail value. So yeah, if you are interested in the deals that I get, follow me on Instagram. It's not MTG line, it's actually gutterless. Follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna take my Instagram account and kind of make it a magic account. All right, wish me luck. Is this recording? Yes, it's recording. So is it worth it? Can we get $22 of value? And I'm just gonna be, so $22 of value is one Leo Volt. Leo Volt will be absolutely killer and something like this. All right, on Nerve, I really like this person. I remember this person from Urza Saga. Gangs of Devils, Hollowed Burial is not bad. That's probably a dollar or two. The beauty of $66 a box are, no, it's actually cheaper. So $66 a box. Yeah, what is that, a booster pack? Let's call it, $3, 36 booster packs, $3 a booster, no. $2, less than $2 a booster. So if we hit on average around $2 a pack, we actually will be ahead. Goblin Racketeer. And the beauty is we can hit uncommons too to get there. Uh, this card used to be really, really good, but no longer. Ooh, okay, so. This is probably 50 cents. It is a mythic conspiracy, but uh, this is really bad. Arc Demon of Palinos. So one of the big criticisms I have about Take the Crown is you do have stuff like this, where I, it's pretty, I get it. Like if you're drafting the set, it makes sense that you would open it. Like it has draft in the actual card text, but then what do you do after it? Like. Like, what do you do after? Like, do you put it in a cube? Like, would this even, would you even want to put it in cube? Infest used to be one of the better uncommons. Oh, Sagomancer, this is probably worth a dollar too. We got a dragon. One of the dragon tokens is insanely valuable. I forget what set it was. I remember it being like $20 or something. Like, I was like, wow. So here, we did not break even, I would say. I, th I would say, Hollowed Barrier retail is probably a buck. Like I would say this is a $2 if we are super duper generous, which we're gonna be for the purpose of this exercise. Oh, we have a foil. Okay, it is, let's see. Harvester of Souls. Oh good, it's, well, um, Lieutenant of the Guard. For some reason, I thought this was 
the recruiter, <laughs> the white recruiter in foil is insane. Uh, it kind of looks like it, right? I mean, it kind of looks like the white recruiter. What was that name? Like guard or something? Like it's, I'm pretty sure it's a rare. So it's not like insane to go ahead and grab it. Raise the alarm. A oh, lieutenant of the guard. Ooh, this is... All right, I mean, I think we definitely hit... This is not the most valuable planeswalker, but definitely her foil. What is her foil now? It used to be 100. Now it's a little lower. It's like 80 maybe. So if you grab a foil one of her, which is a ghost foil, you make back the entire box at $66 a box, which is less than $2 a pack. Someone do the math. What is it? Is it $1.75 a pack? Like it kind of matters for this type of exercise where we open packs. Um, Kill Shot, Evolving Wild. It's a beautiful card. Mana Plasm. Oh, it's off screen. Diabolic Tutor. All right, Protector of the Crown. You become Monarch. All right, that, that thing costs six mana. Holy crap. All right, we're going to have to put Divog 2 to here. So in total, like $2 a pack. Yeah, it's about $2 a pack. It's a little less. Do we hit $12? I don't think we did because I know that C is not particularly valuable. So I know you want Savannah and obviously Leovo. Savannah, I think, is a good $20. The last box we hit for Jeremy, if you remember that, that hit every single, it hit the five most valuable mythics in the set. I went back to look at it and it was literally the five most valuable mythics in the set plus other stuff. So, well, focus. All right, maybe I'll focus a little later. I think it's focus on the foil in the background. Let's hide that up. Hmm. All right, you, I mean, we opened up this product. You can kind of figure out what this stuff is. Garbage fire, <laughs> very aptly named. Storm chaser chimera, ooh, a dragon. When it enters the battlefield, you become monarch. If you're monarch, you get a 5-5 five, five dragon. So, kind of meant like, Obviously, a, a Mythic Planeswalker is good. I don't want to take away from a Mythic Planeswalker, but I don't, I'm almost certain that C is not worth all that much money. Okay, I think we can see it from here. We haven't hit any valuable uncommons, which is kind of strange. Ooh, another type of guard. Draft, okay, yeah, so pretty much worthless. I think they could have done a much better job with some of these cards. Like, like when a card says draft facing up, yeah, that, that is not good for eternal value. That is just a death sentence for that card. Kill Fiend getting a four, I think there's a, this has been a pretty bad opening to be quite uh, overrun, Constolian Lick, bitch. So, no, we didn't hit it. So now we are at $2 a pack times nine pack, $18. Still way bad, better than those bundles, but my gosh, we need like, we need a $10 card, I think, for retail to hit that price point. So, hope for a $10 card, I guess. Garbage fire. <laughs> which is... Palace. Ooh, gratuitous violence. And, oh, no, no. Oh, no. I don't even need to look at. The conspiracy cards are not very much money. So, I'm almost certain this card is not worth that much. Alright, so the first one-third, is it worth it, has not gone very well. But we have two more chances, I guess. This has been probably one of the worst box openings of this product. Desertion is worth a few dollars. 
and Spectral Grasp. I think it's worth a dollar or two, so it makes back the pack, which I can always appreciate. But we hit one Mythic, and that's it. The one bad part about this set that I wish they had changed was there's no land. There's no rare lands that are worth any amount of money. Just even having a set of rare lands is probably very infest, slime, and fade. So if I had to take a guess of is it worth it, even at the low, low price of $24, which is what I'm going to use, it's, it's actually less than $24. It's $22 actually. Uh, it is not worth it at this stage. Um, huh. This has been pretty bad. We've, we, uh, the really bad part about this particular box so far is there's no uncommons. So when you get a beast within, a ghostly prison, you make back your pack, and logically we should have gotten some uncommons, but we did not. Anyway, bye guys.